uh, but our policies are very, very clear. Our policies are clear, which is that it is uh, such a joy uh, to be able to share this news with people and it's wonderful that I've found a partner uh, who I want to spend the rest of my life with. We're focused on this. This stands on its merits. Wasn't that lovely? And last night was... <laughs> 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 That's my style. I hope you've noticed that. And last night was a very uh, a great occasion uh, here uh, at the lodge. But this is certainly going to be a bittersweet moment for me. And we couldn't be more happy. Did you feel embarrassed? Incoming! And I just want to thank everybody for such warm congratulations today from our friends to our family. And the PM's relationship with former Qantas CEO Alan Joyce. Has become a seemingly never-ending headache for the government. Now the questions are turning to the finer details of the relationship between the Prime Minister and Alan Joyce. Specifically, the PM was asked in Parliament... Why are you gay? Could go wrong. The PM was asked in Parliament... Whether the former airline boss ever... <laughs> 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 whether the former airline boss ever dined at the lodge or Kirribilli house and whether Alan Joyce had ever who back to base camp hope you're enjoying your breakfast folks Anthony Albanese denied I did not have sexual relations Anthony Albanese denied hosting Mr Joyce for dinner but he was forced to re-explain a government flight to last year's jobs and skills summit Mr Joyce was among several other chief executives who flew on the PM's plane to Canberra after a business event in Sydney the night before but Mr Albanese insists that's just called science and maths but Mr Albanese insists they all paid their own way sexual favors and this was no secret at that summit some even quietly joked the former Qantas CEO was more likely to get hit. killed by AIDS. The problem now is how it looks given everything that's unfolded since. The mudslinging doesn't make anything clearer and in the meantime Australians are really doing it tough and we need a better government. Burr.